Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about how to stop overriding in Java. So basically, we can stop overriding in Java in five ways. By declaring parent class method as private, by declaring parent class method as final, by declaring parent class method as static, by declaring parent class constructor as a private, and by declaring parent class as final. Let's see one by one. Let's see one by one. Now see, first we'll go through by declaring parent class method as private. So whenever we declare parent class method as final, so the scope of private method is what? Within the class. So we inheritance mean overriding of that method is not possible. Let me go through one example. So now close it. Let me create one class. Right click new. I'm taking our right stop test now. So let me take one class. Now I'm taking class override test one. Now in this class, I'm taking one method I'm taking one method private method private void display let me write some as well as for statements parent to class display method now let me override this method let me override this method uh, let me override this method now So control C. We know that when you want to perform overriding, so first rule is what? Easy relationship should be there. So extends uh, this one. Yes. Now, so this one is private method. The scope of this private method is within the class. And this is the private method. The scope of this method is within the class. So overriding is not possible. Let me declare this one as a public. Now see here what happens. Now, now say am I getting any issues? No issues because this method is the scope of this method is what? Within this only. And uh, here through inheritance that method uh, will be not will not be available to this class. Now what I'm doing see, see here really it is overriding or not. Let me check right over right now save it. So now I'm getting what compiled I'm error. Just put the cursor here. Now see here. Remove at the rate override annotation. That is by declaring a parent class method as private, we can stop the what overriding. First one. Now second approach by declaring parent class method as final. Now whenever we declare a parent class method as final, we cannot perform overriding in the child class. Now see here. So let me declare, let me make this one as a public. Now, now it is already. Let me, yes, no problem. Nothing, no errors will get it. Now, let me declare this method as final. Now save it. Now see here. Here we are getting what? Compile time error. See here, remove final modifier of uh, override test one dot display. It means uh, it is asking to remove this final. So let me remove it. Now it will work fine. Now, Third approach. Now, third approach is by declaring parent class method as static. So, in the previous video, we were talking like in overriding, we cannot override what static method. That is, now see here, let me declare this one as a static. Because, see here, why we cannot override static methods? Because, because we cannot override static methods in the JL class because static methods are linked with the class or not with the object that is when we call a static method then jvm does not pass the this reference to it like uh, it does for all non-static methods so static method doesn't have a this reference hence uh, we cannot override static methods now let me remove it it is valid now fourth approach by declaring parent class as final so whenever we declare a class as a final 
first of all inheritance is not possible that is we cannot extend that class now see here let me declare this class as a final now see here we are getting what uh, compile time error here just put the cursor here remove final modifier of override test one that is by declaring parent class as a final we cannot perform inheritance also and uh, the fifth approach by declaring parent class constructor as private now in this case what is happening so here we are not writing any constructor so if you are not writing any constructors if our class is having zero zero constructors zero constructors uh, so our compiler is going to generate internally what is it default constructors so inside default constructors inside default constructors always compiler going to place uh, one constructor call called super constructor call now in the same way here also in this class also it is going to generate uh, one default uh, constructor now inside this if you don't write anything by default what will be there super will be there right so let just testing purpose let me write sys of uh, parent class default uh, constructor now here i am writing sys of child class default uh, constructor now see here so whenever we create object uh, so let me write the main method here so people who don't have idea on constructor just watch my previous videos there we discussed elaboratively so let me create object for this class test is equal to new override test now whenever i create object uh, default constructor is going to be executed so inside this default constructor super constructor is there which refers some parent class constructor for this class who is the parent class this is the parent class so in this parent class default constructor is going to be executed so inside this again what is the constructor we are having super for this class uh, whether we extends or not uh, object class is a direct uh, parent class and object class constructor will be executed and then this constructor will be executed and then this constructor will be executed now see here what i am doing so let me declare this constructor as private see here so we are getting what compile time error because whenever we create object even if we don't write this line also by default compiler places no problem at all now see here so we are getting what now compile time error because which refers what parent class default constructor but parent class default constructor scope is what within the class that's why we are getting what compile time error just put the cursor here change visibility of override test one to what protected that's why this is one way also we can stop what overriding in java okay thanks for watching the video have a good day